Why no? Why no? Hello, it's me. And uh, I've filmed these kind of videos like tons of times, like it's hard to count. But I think I finally want to do this. I want to do this in rapid procession. Just go for these as quick as I can. If there's anything like special about them, I'll pull them out and view them. But really, there's nothing a lot, nothing special about this lot right here. <laughs> nothing much special. I also got some 45s. We won't be doing that. I'm gonna go for my vinyl collection. I'm certain it's gonna be a part one because. Uh, just like um, when uh, Anthony Fantano did his record collection, I'm going to set a timer for 10 minutes. I'm going to try to fit as many records as I can in 10 minutes. When the timer runs out, I'll stop the recording and I'll do the rest in another video. In another day. So, let's begin. The 10 seconds now. Okay, the first record right here. Animal Collective, Centipede Hurts. This is one of the more recent purchases I've made. Um, I got this for $15. So, ain't, ain't a bad price for a good album. Nothing really special about the packaging. We got Gatefold right here. Just full of stuff. Sleeves right here, this is a double OP. You got more art, you got lyrics on the back. Just standard vinyl. And right here, and on the label, she's having big letters standing for what side it is on. It's a good animal quite about. Not as good as Strawberry Jam or Mary Weather or Fields or sung tongs, but it's still good. I think this one falls just under those albums. Oh, and Spirit are Gone. Check those out. Put that in there. The Arcade Fires, everything now. I will be getting the Suburbs, Neon Bible, and Funeral at a time. But I only have everything now in Reflector. But I still like Reflector, and I still like this album, too. Got a sleeve here. Got a little clear sleeve. So that's kind of good. Uh, the album cover right here, Taken in Death Valley. Gatefold here. Let's see what, what we got here. We got a lyric sheet. Fun, fun lyric sheet. You got the record here. It's pretty good, pretty cool pictures there. This is the day version, by the way. There's also a night version, and I think that comes on translucent blue vinyl. And that's the labels right there. You got the little symbols representing the songs on surrounding those that le those letters. That letter meet for the side. Okay, Reflector, also by RK Fire. Pretty cool album from 2013. Pretty cool gatefold here. Nothing real special about the packaging, the kind of art design carries on to the other, to the sleeves. Got the lyrics right there. Label. Got the same design as the gatefold. Except it's the color associated with what volume of the record it is. For volume one it's white, for volume two it's black. Oh, here we go. Avalanches. Since I left you. Influential album. Listen to it 
when you have an hour to spare. If you have an hour to spare, listen to this album all the way through. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. Very influential, very influential sample based electronic dance album. Nothing really special about the labeling there. It's just kind of there. Sorry. Avalanche's Wildflower released 16 years later. 2016. You got the track listing on the back. No gatefold. It's just two records just hanging out. Cramped into one sleeve. You got Al Mark pertaining to the different songs. Rears, Subways, Frankie Sinatra. A noisy eater. Lead bling's pretty simple. You have yellow there. For the second record, you have black label. You just read four minutes and twenty seconds. We'll lays it up. I'm just flying through this. Not. Beach Boys. Pet Sounds. This was, well, it was purchased a couple months ago, but I still find this, I still find this as a more recent release. Also, another very influential album. I mean, freaking Wouldn't It Be Nice is on here. Sleep John B. God Only Knows. Caroline No. Just, just a really good, really good Beach Boys, really good album, really good Beach Boys album in general as well. Iconic Capital label, right there. Abbey Road, 2011 repressing. We got the iconic Apple label. Iconic album from an iconic band. Just everything about this, all the art, all the music, the band itself is iconic. You have The Beatles, or the White Album, self-titled album, right around here. It says it has the Beatles embossed and up here, just in the corner, it just says stereo. I tell you it's in stereo. Got the gatefold right here. Picture of the band and a track listing. There are 30 tracks on this, people. Uh, you have pictures, John, Paul, George, Richard Starkey, and you have record right here, Apple Label, and two records in here, the Beatles only stereo double LP. thing I want to show you is the poster. This is the, I didn't tell you already, this is the 50th anniversary remastered edition. I do want to get like a different version of this stuff. Like some of these records that I, I gave to my dad and I want to get different versions of. This is one of them. I want to get 
I'm gonna get like a 2011 release. I don't particularly like. Well, I, I like the base that this has, but I want. I don't really like the 50th anniversary remixes that much. Magical Mystery Tour, 1967 album, which we release as an EP in the UK, but in the US we got the better version. We got the LP. So you have the songs from the EP on the first side, and we have the singles released that year on the other side. Kinds of a book. I can read that. And the record here. Capital label. Right there. Oh no, timer done. Timer done. Okay, so we got for a good amount. We got for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight records. So that's pretty good for 10 minutes. So that's about a record a minute. So that's not too bad. Still have a lot more to go through. Yeah, but one more Beatles album, we have a lot more to go through. Pink Floyd, Led Zeppelin. And the such. So I'll see you in a video. Bye. Vinyls. 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 What's up? It's your boy. Hidden in the sun. Okay, I think that's better. Alright, welcome to the second part of my vinyl collection. Uh, same rules as before. We have to send 10 second, a send second timer. Set for us. Um, so we got, we gone through nine, we got through nine albums. Last time we met. So that was, that's pretty cool. So we have 20 left. So it's probably going to be, end up being like a four part or something. Because I don't really expect going through these next records as quickly as I did last time. I just got lucky. <laughs> so, let's start the timer and we'll go ahead and get started. In Tretun Wun Gun. Alright, so we ended off with Magical Mystery Tour. So now we're on. Oh, <laughs> Sergeant Peppers, Only Hearts Club Band. You have the lyrics on the back here. Infamous Gatefold, Infamous Album no. by Infamous Band, The Beatles, you know. You have the 2011 remaster comes with a little book thing. And it comes with the original cutouts. You have the mustache, the picture card, the stripes, the badges, and the little stand up image of the band. You have the vinyl here. You have the original Parlophone label right there. Parlophone label. That's how you can tell this is the UK version. I like the UK version, so that's a win for me. Put this in. Next up, King Crimson in the Court of the Crimson King, your debut album from '69, 1969. Uh, very influential frog rock album. A lot of these albums I have are influential because I like them and they're they deserve the like that they have inside you have the lyrics and that are painting this is a repressing so it comes in this sleeve which advertises all their other stuff really like the labels on here the pink of the label looks really nice 
introduced by old Fritman. You can know the memes, you know. You know what I'm talking about. Yep, King Crimson. Check it out. Uh, this one's kind of a weird edition. This is the Love Story soundtrack. I found this at, I guess you could call it a thrift store. It was, or an antique store. It was called Treasures Old and New. And we actually got this for my grandmother. But it's kind of in my collection until we move. There's a back there. Really too fancy about the labeling right there or the vinyl. Already about four minutes in. We're not moving fast. We have Led Zeppelin's Untitled album or Led Zeppelin 4. Their best album in everyone's opinion. Well, not everyone's opinion, but even if it's not people's favorite album, it's their most famous album. You have a painting of the hermit. This is a repressing, so the original sleeve is not a sleeve. It's just a piece of paper. You have to track this thing there, and you have the lyrics for Stairway to Heaven. A little picture right there. Original Atlantic label, and a very, very nice sleeve. Very smooth sleeve. It gets pretty crinkly sometimes, so you have to... Um, wrestle with it until you get it in there. Then you have the album that came out after that. We have House of the Holy. Ah. Naked Girls on the cover. <laughs> you have the gatefold there. Totally cannot get away with that album cover now. But it's an older album, so girl. You still have to cover it up. Once again, the sleeve is not a sleeve. There's a lyric right there in the track listing. And the labeling just kind of looks the same. The Atlantic label. And the crinkly bag. Don't worry about putting that album away later. Presents. Also by Pink Floyd. This is what I consider their last great album. This is their second to last album before John Bonham's death, which ultimately broke the band apart. There's a gate for right there. All featuring the object. I would like to get at least a replica of it. Not the official like replicas released by Swan Song, because those would be expensive. My pressing is kind of weird. Uh, on the first side, there is no information whatsoever. But on the second side, there is information. So that kind of makes me wonder. I found out that this is a test pressing. So that may or may not be one of the reasons. But it was $19, and who can argue with a good price record? Again, I'll deal with the packaging later. I'm running out of time. Um, we have Negative Land, Escape from Noise. They're actually their third studio album. You, or their fourth. It's either their third or fourth. But really, it's their second. They're most, one of their most popular albums. And here you have um, Christianity Stupid, Car Bomb, Nesbitt Lime Soda Song, Time Zones, Experimental, Experimental Band. It's just experimental and very silly. 
There's the labeling there. And right there is the official negative land little symbol there, developed from their big 10-8 place record. This record really needs to clean once I actually get a record player again. Alright, let's see here. This one's another recent buy. Tubular Bells, Mike Oldfield. God, I love this album. Very, very good album. Right here. Tubular Bells Parts 1 and 2. There are also two other Tubular Bells albums called Tubular Bells 2 and Tubular Bells 3. I haven't listened to those yet. I'll only listen. Actually, this is the only record I've heard from Mike Oldfield. Virgin Records. One of the first releases of that record label. Very different logo design from what it is now. Oh, here we go. I think we'll end off with this one. Dark Side of the Moon, Pink Floyd. Oh, I listened to this album actually the other night. I was about to say last night, but I actually listened to the other night. I also listened to the Tubular Bells album that same night. And it also came out the same year as Two Me Rebels. Uh, there's posters in here. I'm going to go through the posters real quickly. Uh, hurry up. Poster. And... Poster. Those pyramids. Break out your 3D glasses. You have the record here. Very iconic label with the triangle on there. This, is, this was the, the repressing. Most of my records are repressings because you can are easy to find, even though they're expensive than some of the other records I found that are not repressings. So that's kind of weird. Ah, I finished just in time. Alright, so we got through... I'm pretty sure we got through less amount. We went through 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. No, we actually got through the same amount, actually. So I guess that's good. So we're still doing the record a minute thing. So I don't know if the next episode goes well, if I'm able to do 11 records in the next episode. That'll probably be the last part until I do like vinyl updates as I get more records. But you'll never know until you, you'll have to watch the next episode. <laughs> Alright, see ya. Vinyl Collection 3! It's, it's number 3! Alright, so let's get rolling with the... Let's get rolling with the timer. In 3, 2, 1, go. Alright, so starting off... Well, actually, we started off yesterday with Pink Floyd. But, continuing with the Pink Floyd, we have the Vision Bell. Oh, flip it over. Oh! You have an upside down back cover and that kind of pattern continues on to the gatefold the sleeve here you got lyrics on the back or lyrics. I like these labels right here And uh, I like how the spindle hole is the is eye. And I don't want to bore you. The other one just basically has the same design. 
it's just the wooden heads. And because I just want to get this done. Uh, the final cut right here. Uh, some people don't like this album. I, I don't see. I, I mean, I can see why, but I don't not like this album. I don't love it as much as the album that came before it, The Wall. But I don't hate it. If that makes any sense. The label right there. This is the most Roger Waters you'll ever get. Closest to Roger Waters solo that you'll ever get on the Pink Floyd release. It's still called Pink Floyd. Uh, here comes a record from their better years. Metal. My favorite Pink Floyd song is on here. Seamus. Just kidding. It's Echoes. Everybody loves Echoes. And then you have the gatefold or ugly little mugs on there. You have the sleevage with the repressed label on there. Why? Why did they do that? Why do they have to change the labels? Okay, next we have the first Pink Floyd vinyl that I got. Momentary Last of Reason. I actually got this from my dad uh, for my birthday. For my 13th birthday, I believe. Uh, no, my 14th birthday. Beautiful right there. Take a quick ender at that. Sleeve with lyrics. Nice looking. Ooh, nice look on my hands. Nice label right there. Nice label art. It may actually get done. Obscured by Clouds. This album came out before Dark Side. This is the soundtrack for a French film, La Vallée, or The Valley. The Valley is Obscured by Clouds, so that's what they decided to call the album. They also made a soundtrack album before this called More. That album is alright. I kind of prefer that one. The Scarecrow Cloud's better. Here comes our first album, The Piper at the Gates of Dawn. 67. 67, dang, that's a long time ago. Sid Barrett, before he got insane. Well, actually, while he was getting insane. But it was before when he... It was before when he went really berserk. You can see that Columbia Loop label right there. They were on Columbia for just three albums, or all that we can see the UK releases. Um, Sauce Full of Secrets, their sophomore album, or their second album. And there's the back. Got the Columbia label again. I'll need to show you that again. That sleeve is falling apart. The Wall, seventy-nine record, their best rep, their best album, in my opinion. That doesn't have my favorite song on there. Back looks the same. Great art from uh, Gerald Scarf. We also did some animations for the tour and the film. So we just had everything to do with this album. Sleeve with lyrics. Labels. I love how, as the labels go on, the wall slowly builds up. Because in the story, that's what's happening. As you can see, yeah, it's getting a bit more built. All right, great album. Blah blah blah. Wish you were here. The album that came out after Dark Side. This is actually my dad's 
the record, but I just wanted to show you that so I could show you that I actually like Pink Floyd. <laughs> so I don't have animals yet. Don't get mad at me! I'll get it. I've missed chances where I can get it. I know, I'm in a missile. And the times that I saw, I just like, you know what? I'll get it in there. I'm on a postcard. I forgot to mention this was a postcard. Like an actual postcard. And the postcard saying, wish you were here. I think we might actually finish this. Radiohead, Kid A. 2000. Right? Released in the year 2000. This is the album after OK Computer. Uh, art kind of carries on looking like the same. It's kind of like these glitched out landscapes and different images. Carries on to the sleeves. And the record labels kind of look the same throughout. Just like it did for OK Computer. And finally we have the last one. The Joshua Tree. U2. My, my favorite album, actually the only album listened to by U2. I don't really plan on getting to the band, I just decided to get it because my mom liked it. On the first side here you have the track listing for both sides. And that kind of carries on to the second record. There's a book. There's a book of just lyrics and other photos for the album. And all that stuff. Time! Minute 57 to spare. Nice. So yeah, that's all my records. I guess I could show you my 45s. Or I only have four. Um, I'll start from the bottom. As it gets more interesting. You have Channer, Channel Swimmer and I'm Not In Love by 10cc. These are much smaller records and you play them at 45 RPM. That's why they're also sometimes called 45s. Hang on my rock and roll shoes and What Am I Living For by Chuck Willis. You have Gonna Fly Now and Reflections from the Rocky soundtrack. And you have Emotional Rescue and Down in a Hole by the Rolling Stones. This was actually given to me by uh, Benjamin's dad. More Jay's plays coming soon. And uh, yeah, now that's my full collection. So I'll obviously make more videos because I'm obviously going to get more records in the future. But yeah, that's really all I have now as I'm making this video. I'll just decide to make this video because why not? Why not show you, finally show you my record collection. Despite the multiple attempts of trying to make videos for it, probably won't even upload these videos. It's probably just a waste of time. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll see y'all in the next Jace Plays video, maybe. I don't know what the heck we're coming up with next.